morning. While everyone's hopping on, I'm gonna get my dog situated. Come on, get a treat. Good morning, Anna. Good morning, Meredith. All right. Dogs are situated, fingers crossed. Let's get live on Instagram and then we're gonna get started. So, good morning. Welcome to Full Body Strength, 45 minute class for this workout. Let me just make sure I'm on Instagram and then I'll tell you what you need. All right, guys, good morning. For this workout, what you need is a chair or a couch so your couch works just fine um, if you want a harder surface you can grab a chair um, if you're gonna grab a chair make sure you push your chair up against something that's stable whether it's a couch or the wall just so you don't slide or slip um, you're gonna need a set of dumbbells if you have them if you don't have dumbbells um, you can use canned goods or jars for your lighter set and then for your heavier set um, you can grab a backpack with some textbooks. So that's kind of what I grabbed today. I have a couple dumbbells as well. So plenty of options. Um, so go ahead and grab what you need if you haven't yet. I'll give you another minute and then we're going to get started with our warm up.
take it back. Awesome. Keep going. Three, two, one, take it forward. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. All right, guys, first round of work today. We have three sets. I'm just fixing the angle just a little bit. All right, three sets of work. This first one, 60 seconds of an exercise, then 45, and then 30. Um, we have four exercises. The first one is tricep dip. So this is where you're going to use your couch or your uh, chair. Remember, if you're using a chair, make sure it's up against something so you don't slide. Don't want any injuries today. Fingertips are forward. Butt comes off, and that's your tricep dip. Now, if you have a super soft couch, you may want to grab a chair just because it's going to be a little bit more sturdy for you. Second exercise is a single leg glute bridge. So we're here. Your shoulders are on the couch, like your back. So back and shoulders. Drop the hips down, press it up. Drop and press. That's a two-legged. We're doing single leg, sorry. Single leg looks like this. And we'll do half on each side. Then we have a curl and press or a clean and press. This depends on your weight selection and what you have around the house. If you have a heavier set, you can do a clean and press. If you have a barbell, you can do a clean and press. Looks like this. Up and under, press, catch, release. Stay close to the body, clean, press, in, down. If that's too much or if you're still not sure about that move I want, and you don't have weights or anything, grab something lighter and you're gonna do a curl, press, in, down. With the back pass, looks like this. You're gonna hold the sides. You're gonna curl, press, in, and down. Okay, plenty of choices there. So, last exercise, single leg step up. We'll do each side, one foot on, you're gonna stand up and come down. Again, if your couch is really soft, you may feel a little unsturdy, you can grab that chair. And we'll do both sides. So, we start with tricep dips for 60 seconds. Here we go. In three, two, one, start. Fingertips forward, bend at the elbows. The closer your butt is, the harder it's gonna be. To make it even more harder, you can straighten one leg out or both legs out. Now again, we're here for 60 seconds. So it's a long time. So I want you to take whatever you need. And if that's still too much for you, you can have a seat with the hands on and you can lean forward and back. You can also do this seated on the floor, like so. We have 20 seconds, so another option would be right here. Okay, as long as we're moving. We have 10 seconds, then we have a single leg glute bridge. We're gonna do half on each leg. Three, two, one. So back shoulders, cross one leg or straight up. Drop and press. Squeeze the glutes at the top. You can grab a weight if you want and put it right on your hips to make it a little bit harder. We have 15 seconds here. Drop the hips, press through that heel, squeeze the glutes at the top. Five seconds, three, two, one, switch legs. Oh, and I moved my couch. Let's go. Good, press through. Pushing through that front heel. Remember, you can hold a weight, whatever you need. And if this is still too uncomfortable for you, you can lay down on the ground and do it that way as well. Five seconds. Then we have clean and press. Three, two, one. Clean and press or curl and press. So clean and press, close to the body. Up and under, press, catch it, release. Up and under, press, catch, release. Stay close to your body. Now you want it to be kind of heavy. If you don't have that heavy weight, 
we can do a curl and press. We're halfway, guys. Curl, press, in and down. Keep the elbows in. Working the same muscles, just a little differently. Fifteen seconds, then we have a single leg stand up. Five, three, two, one. One leg on your couch or your chair, and up, tap down, lift. We're gonna do the whole 60 seconds on one leg, and then we'll get the other side. Now again, if this is too much, if you have a step near you, you can use your step. If it's still too high or if you have any knee issues, you're gonna take a lunge and go down and up on one side. Okay, so plenty of choices. Step up on your couch, step up on your chair, step up on your stairs or lunges. But pick a side. We are still there. We're balancing, lifting the chest, pushing off that front foot just like in that glute bridge. 15 seconds, then we switch legs. Good, big push. Three, two, one. Switch, other leg, right to it. 60 seconds. Now again, if you're in that lunge position instead, your nice long stride, and you're down and up. So take whatever option works for you. Your chair may be a little bit higher than your couch, so that may be a little more challenging. You can always go to a short step. If you have a bench at home, that's fine too. Just make it work for you. Whatever you're stepping on, make sure it's close up to something so nobody falls off. 15 seconds. Three, two, and rest. Good. All right, I'll give you about 15 seconds. We're going to do that same round again at 45 seconds on. So, you know what's coming. Same exact exercises. You can adjust if you need to. We are going to start with those tricep dips. This is 45 seconds, so it's a little bit shorter. So, if you want to grab that weight for your lap or grab your weight for your glute bridge, go ahead and have that close by. We start with tricep dips. In three, two, one, go. 45 seconds, right here. Remember, stay close, or you can straighten the legs out. If you want to make it harder, you can also use the edge of your bathtub, which is what my cousin told me she did. So that could work too. You just might be running in and out of the bathroom for the workout. My 15, 15 seconds, then we have a single leg glute bridge. Again, you can do this on the floor. You don't have to use a couch or a chair. Three, two, one. Good, remember, we're just doing half on each side. So if you're holding a weight, I want you to hold it on your lap. Press through that front heel. Again, you can be laying flat on your back as well. You can always do two legs if it becomes too much too. Three, two, switch sides, other leg. Good, it's a quick 20 seconds, 22 to be exact. After this, we have our clean and press or our curl and press. Three, two, one. Good. All right, clean and press or curl and press. Whichever choice you're in, let's go. Use your legs to catch, press, catch, release. Elbows drive and lead the way. So elbows come up, under, press, 
catch, release, or curl and press. You can do this in multiple ways. If you have your lighter set, you can do it that way. Curl, press. Five seconds, then we have a single leg step up. If you want to keep your dumbbells in your hands or put your backpack on, go for it. Three, two, one. Single leg step up, one foot on. Make sure it's all the way on before you come up. Can you balance at the top? Or if you need to touch down, that's okay too. Good work team, only 45 seconds. Push through that heel. Stand up tall. Remember your option is a lunge on the spot. If the step up is not an option for you. Good, we got 10 seconds. If you're in the lunges, you're just going down and up like so. Play with that range of motion. Can you get your knee almost to the floor? And switch legs. So either the lunge or step up. We got 20 seconds to go. Big lift. Last 10. Don't fall over. Three, two, one. Rest. All right, team, we got one more set of that. Uh oh, what happened on Instagram? I'm back. Sorry, Instagram. Okay. All right, guys. One more set. 30 seconds. Short and sweet. You know what to do. So let's work. Tricep dips. Three, two, one, go. Take your option and let's work through it. 30 seconds feels like nothing compared to that first round of 60. You got this. Nice work. Push through the heel of the hand. Try not to cave the shoulders in. Stay down and back and upright. Awesome. Five, three, two, one. We got glute bridges. Let's hit them. Lift and lower. I'll show you that option this time. 30 seconds. So really 15 on each leg. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Switch legs, press through, take whatever choice that, I can't even talk, take whatever choice works for you. Good, pushing through that heel, two, one, clean and press or curl and press, let's go. Quick 30 seconds, dumbbells or backpack, clean and press if you want. Or stay here with me with that curl and press. Five seconds. Then we have single leg step up. Three, two, and one. If you want to put your backpack on your back, let's go. Single leg. Lift and drop. So we're just adding a little bit of extra weight by adding your backpack or your hands are on your dumbbells as you do this, or you're in that lunge. Again, right here. Five seconds. Three, two, one, switch legs. My balance is so off today. Good work team, we're halfway. Three, two, and one. Rest. 
Nice work. All right, grab a drink if you need. Next round of exercises. We have three exercises, 60 seconds of each exercise, two times through, okay? So it's a short little set. We have a squat and a press. Weights or no weights, you got this. So with weights, it looks like this. We squat, we press, okay? If you only have a heavy set, like I only have 15s here, and it could be too much, you can hold one like so and do it that way. You can also use your handy dandy backpack for this too. We would just hold it here, squat and press. Okay, that's move number one. Move number two is a walking push up. So we're walking side to side in that push up. So I'm gonna find some space. So you're gonna step out, push up, then to the center. So you're walking side to side, corner to corner, knees or toes. The last move is an around the world lunge. We lunge front, side, and back. You need a little bit of space for this. Watch the move. Front, side, and back. And we'll do the same leg for 60 seconds and then switch. Making sure I'm in the frame. All right, 60 seconds of squat and press. Here we go. Three, two, one, start. Let's go, hips back and down, chest stays up. Good, from the side, make sure we're pushing back and then standing up, big push. Now remember, one dumbbell works fine, or back back. You can hold the side, you can hold the front, whatever's comfortable. We got 20 seconds, then we have walking push ups. Five seconds. Three, two, one, come on down. Let's go. Walk to the right, push up, walk to the center, walk to the left. So you push up on the right and then the left. Good. If you need a choice, you can bring the knees under the hips to a tabletop position. It'll take some of the weight off. Or you can be on the toes. Just make sure your form doesn't suffer. You're still coming down, chest to elbow height. Abs are braced. Neck is in line with your spine. We have 10 seconds, then we have an around the world lunge. Three, Two, one, pick a leg. You're gonna have to do both anyway. Let's go. Front, side, and then back. Take a big step forward, drop your knees, push off the foot that's stepping. So it's my left leg, so I'm pushing off that left leg, pushing off that left leg, and pushing off the right leg on that one. Getting nice and low. Again, staying upright through the chest. Now, you could always hold dumbbells in your hands for this as well. I would probably hold one up here in a rack position, just because when you go to the side. You can also put your backpack on. We have 10 seconds, and then we switch legs. Three, Two, one, switch legs. I don't know which way to go. Run around the space around here. Good, now if you have any knee issues or if this starts to bother you, just decrease your range of motion. So maybe you don't go as deep. Maybe you just go a couple inches down, 
on each lunge. Okay, make it work for you. Now, if you don't have any issues, I want you to get that knee almost to the floor on that forward and back lunge. You could even tap that knee down. Team, we have 15 seconds, then we go back to the squat and press. Three, two, and one. Squat and press. No break. It's only two rounds. So let's go. On your squat, are you getting as low as you can with keeping that proper form? So again, we're up, press the hips back. Knees should be not caving in at any time. Press them right over the toes. You want to be able to see your toes when you squat down. See your toes and up, okay? And if you don't have any weights at all, and you don't have any canned goods or jars, you can do this solely with body weight too. But hopefully you have something. I'm sure you can find something in your house to use. 10 seconds. Three, two, and switch. Push ups. One to the right, one to the left. Good work, guys. Back is staying flat. You're thinking about drawing the belly button in. So you're working all through your core, too. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze your abs, and push the floor away. That was very dramatic of me. Here we go. 30 seconds. Choice if you need. We don't stop working. We always take options. The last 10 seconds. Here we go, team. You got it, Meredith. Last five. Come on, Angie. Three, two, one round the world lunge. Again, you can hold lunges, hold lunges, wow, hold dumbbells, or your backpack on, pick a side, and let's go. I'm just getting, holding my backpack up a little bit because mine's a little bit too low, and I can't adjust it up this time. So just make sure your backpack's not resting on your butt. You want it higher so you're nice and supported if you're using your backpack. I just think this is kind of fun. Oh, I could go to like schools and do like a whole backpack class for kids. That would be so fun. Look at all these ideas I'm rolling off. Ten more seconds. Three, two. And one, switch other leg. Now if you're holding your dumbbell, you're holding it up in a rack position. Or body weight's totally fine. Pushing off that foot. Down and up, good. Big step. You guys look good, keep it up. We are halfway through. Oh. Yes, we are halfway through. I was going to say halfway through our second set. But we are almost done our second set. 20 seconds. Let's go. Keep it up, Anna. Three, two, and one, rest. All right, take a second, grab a drink, whatever you need. Lost some water. All right, guys, how you feeling? All right, we have our last set right here. 
All right, so we're going back to the first format of set one, where we had 60 seconds, 45, and then 30. Just different exercises. First move is a dumbbell wood chop. So you're gonna grab a moderate weight if you have one. Again, I'll show you options. You're gonna twist to one side, rotate. It's not about momentum. It's about controlling through the core and the shoulders. We're gonna do the whole set on one side and whole set on the other. Then we have an alternating shoulder press. So we're gonna sit down for this one, just to keep our form good. So you can use your chair again or your couch. You're gonna sit up nice and tall. Your hands are gonna stay here, alternating. That elbow stays in line with the shoulder. Again, this is where you're gonna want that lighter set. If you don't have one, go ahead and grab some jars, canned goods, anything like that. You could use your backpack as well. You would just be doing both arms at the same time. Then we have deadlifts. Again, you can use those dumbbells. You have a heavier set, grab those for this. Heels are under the hips. Shoulders are down and back. We're gonna slide down and back up, keeping the back nice and flat. Okay, option, you can use your lighter weights. You can use your backpack. I would probably hold the sides, hinge forward and up. You may need to make this a little bit heavier so you can throw another book in there. And then the last one is tricep kickbacks. Again, you'll probably want your lighter set for this one. Elbows in, hinge forward like that deadlift position. I'm going out and in. All right, so go ahead. I'll give you 30 seconds if you need to adjust any weights or grab anything else around your house. I'm going to make my backpack a little bit heavier for those deadlifts. I'm just going to throw another textbook in. All right. So let's get started. 60 seconds of a wood chop. Again, you can use your backpack for this. I did just make mine heavier, so I'm not going to do it with it. But I'll show you one. It would look like this. Actually, that's not too bad. I probably can manage that. Here we go. Three, two, one and start, 60 seconds. So here and rotate, rotate. You can lift that heel. Again, we're not going for speed, we're going for a control. You wanna feel the obliques and feel the shoulders. Lots of shoulder work today. Stay with the same side and then we'll switch. Good, little rotation. Nice work team, 15 seconds left here. Starting to feel the burn, yes? Five seconds. Three, two, one and switch, other side. So we start down and rotate. Sort of like you're golfing. I don't golf, so that's probably not a really good analogy, but I would imagine it'd be something like this. Gosh, my dog looks so cute right now. She's just sleeping. Good work guys, good control. Play with that range of motion if you need to. If you have any back issues or if this is starting to bother you and cause you pain, then don't go as far. We have 15 seconds and then we're gonna switch into our seated alternating shoulder press. So your shoulders are already burning right now, so we're gonna really burn them out. So this is where you may want that lighter set. That's why I told you to grab the lighter one if you have it. Three, two, and switch. Have a seat. So by seat, staying seated, we're gonna help our back and not lean back. So alternating press. You wanna keep the elbow in line with your shoulder. So nobody should be down here, because now what's happening? We're losing the tension in the shoulders. So I want you to stay in this position. And yes, it will burn. 
And by sitting down, we're not arching our back like so. We're staying nice and upright. Ooh, I feel it, guys. Keep it up. Think about bracing your belly as well. We have 10 seconds. Then we go to deadlifts. Three, two, one. Good. Have your set if you have it or your backpack. Let's go. Slide down and stand up. Shoulders are down and back. Hinge at the hips. Slight bend in the knees. I shouldn't see any backs rounded like this. Okay, that's not what we want. That will cause pain in your back. So pull the shoulder blades down and almost stick your butt out. There we go. Nice, if you have a mirror, you can always check your form out in the mirror. Good, stay with it. I'm gonna show you that backpack option if you have that. Oh yeah, definitely made mine heavier now. Good, so we're just gonna hold that backpack and do the same thing. Feeling a stretch through the hamstrings. 10 seconds, then we have tricep kickbacks. You're gonna want your lighter set. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Stay in that hinge position and kick back. Both arms at the same time. Again, back stays flat. Elbow stays in line with the shoulder. So it's a small motion. We're just going out and in. Think of a robot like this thing. That's what it always reminds me of. Stay with it. Answer, guys, brace through the belly. Stay with it. Hinge forward slightly so you feel the work in that tricep. 15 seconds, here we go. Come on. Five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. Huh. All right, so now you know what to do. Same idea, 45 seconds on, and then the last set is 30 seconds. So go adjust any weights you need to. If you're realizing you can go heavier, or you need to go lighter, and you grab canned goods, go ahead and do that. All right. So 45 seconds, we start with that wood chop. Here we go. In three, two, one, and start. Rotate through that heel. Nice work, guys. Keep it up. Only 45 seconds this time. We only have 15 seconds to go, and then we'll switch sides. guys. Stay with it. We are halfway there. About 20 seconds to go. And then we have the alternating seated shoulder press. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Have a seat. Elbows up. Let's press it. Up and down. Good. As we start to get tired, the elbows will start to drop. Don't let them drop. Keep the tension. Keep the work. Keep your spine long. And look straight in front of you. Keep that eye gaze forward. You got a team. You're almost there. Keep it up. Ten seconds. Three, 
seconds. Then we have our deadlifts. Three, two, one. 45 seconds of deadlifts, let's go. Again, you can use your lighter set if that's what you have and if that feels good for you today. Good, you can go heavier, you can use that backpack. Definitely important to work those hamstrings. A lot of us have overworked glutes and quads. So a lot of us have back pain because our hamstrings are weak. So that's why we want to strengthen them and stretch them so we can alleviate some of that pain. Good, but keep those shoulders back so you're engaging the lats as well. And just come to standing. You don't need to press forward. A lot of times that happens. Just stand up tall. Good work, guys. 15 seconds left. Then we have our tricep kickbacks. Three, two, and one. Tricep kickbacks, let's go. Quick 45 seconds. Out and in. Good. Keep a soft, soft knee, a flat back, racing through the core. Awesome work, guys. Still have 15 seconds. If you need to shake it out and come back, you do that. Ten seconds here. You got it. Three, two, one. Whew. Rest. All right, last set, guys. Two and a half minutes of work. Thirty seconds on of each exercise. Let's do it. Finish that. Then we got a nice stretch. It's gonna feel amazing after all this, and get you on your way. All right, let's go. Last set, wood chaps. 30 seconds. Three, two, one, start. I'm gonna try my heavy backpack this time. Nice work, we're halfway. type later on my computer. Oh my gosh, my dog is so cute. She's lying here with her head on her paw. Now she moved because I talked about her. She looks so cute. Three, two, and one. Have a seat. Press it up. Let's go. Alternate. It's only a quick 30 seconds. You got this. Finish strong. Keep the elbows up. You are so close, team. Come on. We have 10 more seconds. Five, three, two, one. Deadlifts. Here we go. 30 seconds. Good. So imagine you're picking something off the floor. Nice. Feel the pull in the hamstrings. Feel that tension. Good work, guys. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Let's finish it out. Kickbacks. Last 30 seconds of work. Good control. Try not to swing. And then we're like, 30 seconds. Yeah, let's go. 
but we still got to work on control and perfect that form. We got 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Rest. Woo. Awesome work, guys. Let's take a stretch. Let's pull it down. Definitely stretch out through those shoulders. So we're going to come to a kneeling position. If you have your chair or your couch in front of you, I want you to think of a child's pose. So toes together, knees up, sink back, but drop down. So you'll feel this stretch through the chest, through the back, and through the shoulders. So it's a child's pose, but we're getting a little bit deeper into the upper body. So go as far as you can until you feel a little stretch and just hold it there. And if this causes you any back pain, just come to a regular child's pose, like so. We'll hold there a couple more seconds. Come on up. You can stay down. We're just going to stretch through the shoulder a little bit more. So pulling that arm across. Definitely lots of shoulder work today. So we get a nice stretch opening through. Switch sides. So please let me know what you guys thought. If you liked it, if you want me to switch it up for next week. Well, I do switch it up every week. But if you have any requests for next week is what I mean. Please let me know, any comments, questions. Go ahead and take one foot out to the side. Sit on back, stretching through that inner thigh and a little bit of the hamstring. You guys can catch me tomorrow morning, same time, 9.30, for a 30 minute hit class. So well, that's where we'll get our cardio in. 30 minutes of high intensity interval training. I show modifications for at all fitness levels, high impact and low impact. So make sure you come check that out. Good, we're gonna come to standing. We're gonna take a calf stretch. So one foot back, bend the front, straighten the back. If you have any requests for our HIIT workout tomorrow, let me know for that too. You can leave a comment, you can DM me, either one is fine. Come on in, grab your shoelaces, knees together, tuck at the hip. Thanks for getting creative with me. It's definitely fun to try new things, the backpack and things like that, and chairs and couches. So thanks for being good sports. I mean, I really don't know if you're being a good sport or not because I can't really see you, but I'm envisioning that you're all loving it. <laughs> Good, we're gonna take those elbows to the knees. We're gonna draw the belly button in. So like we're doing a cat in yoga. So draw it in, nice rounded back. Probably feels really good. And then straighten the arms out, tuck the chin. Oh, it definitely feels good for me too. Getting that upper back again, all that shoulder work today. Just take a nice stretch. Whatever you need, a couple arm circles. Whew. And you guys are done. Happy Monday. I hope you enjoy your day. Again, let me know questions, comments, requests, and I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Let me check. The, now I'm just seeing the comments. I always see the comments at the end. You're welcome, guys. Thanks for tuning in.